Hello everyone and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. My name is Gregory Kraus and today we're going to be talking about coolant. More specifically, we're going to be talking about how to perform a coolant conductivity test. This will be able to test how many dissolved metals are inside your cooling system. Now before we get started, if you could take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel, that way you never miss any of our content. And also, if you want to jump into the conversation in the comments below, please throw a comment in. The cooling system plays a vital role in regulating engine temperature and preventing overheating. However, over time, dissolved metals can accumulate in the cooling system, which can lead to various issues. These issues can include the buildup of corrosion, obstructions or clogs forming, and accelerated engine wear and damage. Testing for dissolved metals can indicate needed service or repair. So now that we know why we need to test for dissolved metals and what they can do to our cooling system, let's go over what PPE tools and equipment we'll need. For this job, we will need safety glasses, be wearing closed toed shoes, and also be free of any loose or hanging jewelry, clothes, or hair. For the tools, we're gonna need a DMM or a digital multimeter to make the test, and we may need a rag just to clean up any residual coolant that gets out. The first step in performing this test will be to locate and open the radiator cap. Note that we never wanna open the radiator cap when the vehicle is hot, as this can cause serious injury or death. Now we will set the digital multimeter to two volt DC scale. We will then attach the negative lead to the ground, now we will drop in the red lead. We will then record our readings. We will then start the car and take the following readings. The engine running with no lights on, with the lights on, with the lights and AC on, and last with the lights, AC, and the engine running at 2,000 RPMs. We are looking for our results to all be below 0.4 of a volt. Anything above, and we are most likely gonna to wanna to recommend a coolant exchange. All right, just to recap, today we performed a conductivity test to look for dissolved metals in our cooling system. Well, my name's Gregory Kraus with Unforgotten Tech. I wanna thank each and every one of you for joining today. And remember, be strong, believe, be unforgotten.